We're going to use this video of my friend Josh hitting a volleyball to break down ideal contact points. So in this video, he's doing a lot of good things. Obviously, he looks like he's going to have good contact right in the center of the ball and he's going to get on top of the ball. But the main thing we're talking about for this video is the line that he creates from his wrist, shoulder and hips all on the same side as his hitting side, which would be the right side. If you watch and break down photos of other hitters or professional hitters doing the same thing, they're also stacking that wrist, shoulder, and hip all on the same side as their hitting arm. Now, don't get me wrong. This is volleyball, and volleyball is a very dynamic sport, so sometimes you're not going to be able to do that. You're going to have to hit on the opposite hip, like in this video right here. Sometimes you're even going to have to reach outside of your body. But if you're going for the optimal and perfect swing, you want that line from the wrist all the way down to the same side hitting hip. If you watch other overhand sports, it's the same thing. You look at a pitcher on the release point, they're gonna have that same line. Same thing for a tennis player and same thing for someone throwing a football. You can see here that when the ball is released, he's gonna have that line all the way down from the wrist, shoulders, and down to the hip. Now this is just something to pay attention to. It does not mean that you have to always hit this way. It just means that ideally you wanna make contact like this, but you should also work on being able to hit in different variations as well if you're gonna be an all around complete volleyball player. 